lovely Karen. Yes, I met Fred Dibner. He was um, such a lovely chappy to talk to. I met him in Cumbria. Um, at that time, I knew some people who were doing up an old pottery works. Um, and he was invited round to actually do some work for them. He was actually doing something with some steam mechanical thingy the jiggy, I don't know. I don't know really what it is. Um, I'm not so good at that. But yeah, he was absolutely wonderful to meet. Yeah, I do find it really sad when chimneys come down though because they are just amazing creations. Now, recently, well last year when I went to help out with my dad, um, near the River Severn there, down near the Iron Bridge, they used to have these massive cooling towers and they were absolutely amazing. I loved them. Now these cooling towers were made from red brick and I mean the workmanship that went in that and I mean they were huge, absolutely. There were three of them and they were just something that you saw in the landscape and could appreciate the um, enormity, the how immense they were and I don't think they should have taken them down at all. What is so sad is that they've taken these three cooling towers down and they're just going to put like houses, you know, just houses, square little boxes on the land that these huge things were on. I, I, I just don't understand it because it's our history and um, yeah, I mean, if you'd seen them, they, they were they were massive, just so big. I've got a photograph somewhere of the boys near the river, and they're in the background. Um, maybe you can find some photos of these cooling towers, but they were just ginormous. I used to go camping up on the hill, and they were even higher than the hill that we were camping on. But the tiny bricks and the way that it was shaped, I mean, how they made these things, I don't know. What I did was, I went and looked up really the one that Monique was telling me about uh, but when we really get there she said it had three towers and obviously that's a picture of five but when we get here it's called Iron Bridge Cooling Towers and they've got four but some of them have three um, like this one here has three no towers there, there's three this one has four, this one has four, this one has four, that one has four, but it's called Iron Bridge. And so is that one. And so is this one. So Monique said that there was three, but this is showing four, so that's a bit strange. Um, yes, yeah, so that's a bit strange, isn't it? Still, after I found that with the boats, when you were looking up the boats, it always showed three turrets, four turrets on the ship. You could never see 
one lot of shit where it had the same amount of turrets. It just always had three, four or five and then some had three, some had five. It was always the same. Anyway, this is the demolition of four towers so it can't be the one that um, that we want but yeah, they stopped that football game there too. And then this one has four, so it can't be the one that Monique's talking about, because she said there was three. And um, yeah, again, this one is right in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we don't like any of the things being knocked down anymore, do we? Because we're taken away, you know, like the world fairs that was Rome and they knocked all that down and they've just been systematically knocking down all the things that we want to show us our history of some kind and all they've done is destroy it not all the coding towers are destroyed uh, I showed pictures of abandoned ones um, or if I haven't shown it it's cut but yeah just uh, as this continues came across wooden cooling towers. How about that? Wooden ones. These are wooden ones. And look at those there. Do they remind you of something? Look at that. Traditional Arabic cooling tower. Just here. To remind you of. A bit like the windows that are bricked up in whatever you want to call them. The chimneys, the bell towers. Yes another cooling tower wow anyway let's continue with the video